It's been nearly three years since a white police officer put his knee on George Floyd's neck, asphyxiating the African-American man and sparking mass protest against racism and police violence in the United States. As the anniversary approaches, many, including George Floyd's aunt, Angela Harrison, look back at the unfortunate event to see if progress has been made. And it's just wonderful to see. It's the awareness, it's the acknowledgement that systemic racism does exist. So people always ask, do you think it's getting better? Yes. In Minneapolis have had six, six police officers convicted within three years. You know, when is a white female? And that never would have happened. That never would have happened. Harrelson points to the conviction of the police officers involved in Floyd's death the reforms in Minneapolis law enforcement and diversity programs at universities, but believes there's still more to be done. 20 years from now, 50 years from now, 100 years from now, the goal is not to hold a sign that says Black Lives Matter. The goal is not to hold a sign that says Black Lives Matter. And until we can do that, and where we, where we don't have to say Black Lives Matter, that's when we know we have arrived. The May 25, 2020 killing was captured on film and went viral around the world. Protests erupted in at least 140 U.S. cities with thousands of people taken to the streets against police violence. It almost feels like we took five steps only for us to move 15 steps back. And even like I've been asking my friends and even my dad yesterday, what do you think? Like, do you think there has been change? And all of them are black and all of them said no like without even hesitation. So obviously positive, positive things did happen in the moment, but it seems like with time, it kind of erased and even went back then where we were initially. The death of 46 year old George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police affected many more people than Floyd himself. One of the bystanders who witnessed the murder is now suing the city for what he experienced on that fateful day.